Sudan's Army Chief General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan received his first visit by a foreign leader on Tuesday since war broke out nearly 15 months ago. Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has framed the visit as part of a push to bring stability to Sudan, where the army is fighting the paramilitary Rapid Support Forces. Abiy has previously been seen as closer to the RSF and hosted its leader Mohamed Hamdan Dagalo in Addis Ababa in December. He is also an ally of the United Arab Emirates, which the Sudanese army accuses of providing material support to the RSF. The UAE denies the allegations, but UN experts say they are credible. Sudan's war has forced almost 10 million people from their homes and created famine-like conditions in parts of the country. While the RSF has taken most of the capital Khartoum and the center and west of Sudan, the army controls eastern and northern states, including Port Sudan, which has become its base. Talks hosted by Saudi Arabia and the United States in Jeddah aimed at brokering a ceasefire stalled last year, and attempts to bring the army back to the negotiating table have so far failed. A source close to the matter said Abiy had a better chance of achieving a breakthrough by being on the ground.